marijuana dispensary ordinance and offer an alternative to be voted on in June. The board's decision was in response to a referendum petition a couple of months ago that collected 26,000 signatures opposing the county ordinance against medical marijuana dispensaries. As a result, the election code requires the board to repeal a protested ordinance or put it on the June 5th ballot. The board had four recommendations to choose from. One, repeal the protested ordinance. Two, put the protested ordinance on the June 5th ballot. Three, repeal the protested ordinance and put the alternative ordinance on the ballot. Or four, put the protested and alternative ordinances on the ballot. County supervisors voted to go with option three, which is to repeal the protested ordinance and put the alternative on the June 5th ballot. And 23 ABC's Christine Din has a breakdown now of the alternative ordinance, why supervisors decided to go with that option, and reaction from the medicinal marijuana community. Christine? That's right, Jackie. That third option calls for an alternative ordinance, which seems to be an attempt by the county to come to a compromise with medical marijuana supporters. But supporters we spoke to call it a feeble attempt that's more like bullying. In a 4-1 to one vote, county supervisors decided to repeal the protested county marijuana ordinance and put an alternative ordinance on the June ballot. Unfortunately, the board is making an attempt, but it's a one-sided and a very narrow attempt to accom accommodate the medicinal cannabis community. County Supervisor Ray Watson was the only one to oppose the repeal. I suggest that we do leave things the way they are, let the voters speak. He wanted to put the protested ordinance on the June 5th ballot so that voters could have a shot at approving the outright ban. The ordinance that was protested and repealed was passed in August and called for a complete ban of storefront marijuana dispensaries and edible cannabis. County Council has come up with an alternative ordinance which will go on the June 5th ballot. That alternative is not a complete ban on dispensaries. We cannot affirmatively uh, mandate how marijuana will be distributed in Kern County, we can say how it will not be distributed in Kern County. The alternative ordinance allows dispensaries to operate in medium and heavy industrial areas, but they would have to be at least one mile away from schools, parks, churches, daycare centers, and other dispensaries. There are about 9,000 acres in unincorporated Kern County that fit the description. I think to me it's always been important that we are reducing the impacts to our commercial areas, our neighborhoods, areas where school children are going to be walking to and from school, etc. And I think that the alternative ordinance as presented by county council and staff will accomplish that goal. Placing one alternative measure on the ballot is the best option for us to do. I understand their reasoning, wanting to get it out of areas where there's a lot of traffic by children, um, but I'm not sure this was the way to do it. There would also be operational restrictions, like hours of operation, no smoking on premises, no sales of alcohol, and no sales of marijuana edibles. Like the protested ordinance, edibles are still banned in the alternative option. Have you ever seen a blind person smoke weed? I got burn marks on my couch from my brother in his bed. He, he needs the edibles for his, he, he can't see. And taking the edibles out, that's taking his medicine away. If the ordinance is passed by voters in June, all the existing collectives and dispensaries, which are about 40, would have to relocate within 10 days of the final count. Any business or person not complying with the ordinance would be treated as a nuisance, be in violation of zoning ordinance, and face civil or criminal penalties. Now, according to the county elections office, it will cost taxpayers about $103,000 to put the alternative ordinance on the June 5th ballot. Now, to watch yesterday's complete uh, Board of Supervisors meeting, you can go to our website, turn to 23.com, where you'll find a link to KGov. Live downtown, I'm Christine Din, 23 ABC.